this is my page, my lovely, lovely page. Um, in this, in this uh, uh, film, I want four characters. One being Danny, who would be the creepy little girl. Uh, Hannah, you'll be the leader of the group. Uh, we'll have, also have Deepa and Taylor, which are another members of the group. Uh, Danny, obviously you'll be creepy. Hannah, what I say you were? You'll be the happy, blue, lucky, bossy, but yet friendly kind of person. Stereotype. Yeah. Um, uh, Deepa will be shy because she should just be shy. Um, also, but when she gets to know her, she's friendly, outgoing, uh, and she's also new to the group, so when Danny's character comes into the uh, little group, she uh, warms up to Samantha, which is her name, which is her name as well, whoops. Um, Taylor's character is crazy and outgoing, like she usually is, but she always sees the light of things, uh, Taylor's character always sees the light of things of a bad situation. Uh, Danny, your character's name will be Samantha, Hannah's, your names will be Stephanie. Uh, Deepa's name will be Hope, and Taylor's name will be Lauren. Um, with the costumes, Danny will, will dye your hair, like, non-permanently, so it will be sprayed black. You'll be wearing dark clothes, like you are today. But just wear this. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to take the smiley bit off. <laughs> I have a zombie one. That's good. Um, it will be dark clothes, and then, like, sort of, we'd have to cake you with makeup to make you look a bit more gothic. Okay. Hannah... You would be like you would be wearing exactly what you're probably wearing now, so probably, but maybe with a lighter sort of bottom part. I'm wearing tights. Yeah, no, but like, you'll be light. You'll be like light, lightly coloured. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like more pastels. pastels. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and your na and your makeup looking a little bit more natural. What does that one mean? No, that's my first. Oh. I think her makeup looks beautiful. Yeah, like that, like like, you. like you have now, just natural and looking pretty. Mm. Okay. Deepa's uh, character will have like. A purpley and sort of blacky kind of look about her, sort of the way that she looks. Is she a goddess? Huh? Is she? No. Okay. She just likes dressing up. Okay. You, you know how deep wear their clothes. It's dark coloured, but okay. they look nice together. Um, and Taylor's character, because she's outgoing and crazy, she'll be wearing sort of a mixture of colours that look nice together. So like a blue and a red, or a you know really daring colours. So, eh. For props and location, for props would be like everyday needs, so like handbag, purse, and sort of like day 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 to day essentials. Uh, when it comes to like a killing scene, it'd be a knife and fake blood, uh, room furniture, and sort of like everyday furniture. So like, and then like when you're out on set and we're going to a cafe or something, it could be like coffee coffee mug, you know, tables, chairs, stuff like that. Uh, location, town centre, uh, in the office we're in Brighton, it'd be the town centre, uh, our hotel room, the beach if it's warm enough, um, one of the parks that are there, and maybe the Brighton Arena, uh, Marina, even not Arena, Marina, um, and if we can't get permission to film in a calf, we'll uh, either go to a different one or we'll go to a, we'll take it out and we'll sort of sit in, what? Well, what would you be filming in the, like, she weren't very specific about where you would film in the Brighton Centre? It would just be all around, because uh, with the storyline at the beginning, you see the girls, center? yeah, you okay. see the girls walking around and going shopping and having a fun time. Okay. It's like an everyday sort of thing. Like a girl just I like a film. film. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if we can't get permission to film in a calf, we'll take the coffee or tea or whatever people are having out and we'll sit on... Like on, like on like benches and stuff like that, or we'd just go and film the park there, and it'd be creepy. Um, equipment, uh, boom mic, radio mic, but the radio mics need to be absolutely hidden; they cannot be seen on camera. So it has to be like either sort of underneath, like clothing, or sort of like we'll feed it through the hair or something. I don't have to do that. Um, well, it'd be easier if she wore black. Oh, yeah, well, it's got no. Oh, well, How much time we got Yeah, it'll be like that. Overall, like, the mood of it is meant to be sort of horror and, you know, sort of dark and mysterious and a thriller kind of thing. Uh, so, and with that, the camera, with the camera, the camera, uh, the camera shots will help us out by sort of having sort of like a relaxed sort of feel at the beginning and then like when it gets to sort of ten more tension it'll be sort of more high jumpy sort of high, uh, sped up sort of feeling and more weird uh, editing 
and stuff like that. Target audience will be is aimed towards teens and young adults because um, I think they'll like this kind of film in a way. So, and you always see like horror, like mini teen horrors, and I think that'd be quite good to sort of try and do. Uh, uh, resources we need like a big like a DS, DSLR camera. Yeah. Yeah. Did I say it right? DSLR. Yeah. So like this lovely one that we're using. Uh, tripod, cl uh, clapperboard, if we're indoors and m maybe if it's needed, maybe like artificial lighting, so like like lighting that you have in the room and then other lighting if needed. Um, camera people and sound people. Uh, okay, now let's go to the plot. Uh, the film is called The Stranger. Um, it will op the opening scene will be the group of friends walking around, uh, having fun, like going shopping, see for shops. Uh, but what they don't realise is the lovely creepy girl, Danny, is following behind them, uh, like keeping her di keeping a distance, like hiding in the shadows, kind of thing. Uh, then after a massive shop, uh, shop, 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 like a mini montage of what they're doing during the day, and the girls go to a, like a little coffee shop, or if we can't get permission to record in the coffee shop, it will be like on a park bench or sort of in the town centre or something with takeaway takeaway coffees. Um, Danny will appear and she will be sort of like creepily looking at them. Okay. So, yeah, that. Um, and one of the girls, I think I said, I think I said Hope, which is the deepest character, uh, spots Danny looking at them. And Lauren, being the crazy one, invites her over and sort of like says, "Hey, come and join us. You look lonely." Um, being Lauren as is the crazy one. Uh, you then come over and they ask you what your name is and where you are and where have you just moved here? And you say Samantha and you say, uh, yeah, I've just moved in. Um, but you answer it in the most creepiest way possible. You're like, yes, my name is Samantha. Like, something, something really creepy. We'll figure that one out um, if this one gets picked. Um, after a while, the girls decide that maybe it was a bit of a wrong idea, sort of inviting you over to uh, sit there and talk to you because you're a bit strange, you're a bit quiet, and, you know, they don't, they're, not, they're not used to that sort of thing. So they decide to sort of, they have like hidden messages within their little speech. And they're like, yeah, let's try and split up and then meet back at Stephanie's, which is your ha ha uh, character, Hannah. And they do that, but Samantha figures out what's going what's going on, and then you tag on to Hannah's character, and you sort of keep your distance, like get and like again, like stay in the shadows. But you follow her back to what would be our hotel room, but it's going to be like Hannah's sort of house. So, and then a couple of hours later, like you're still hiding in a bush, and then really? yeah, you're hiding in a bush, and then. Uh, De uh, Deepest character and Taylor's character will come back in, uh, come back, and go to uh, Hannah's uh, Hannah's house for a sleepover. You know, like a typical scary, uh, typical like teen scary character sort of thing. So yeah, they're talking about their day and like how awkward your character was, and Samantha um, is still outside, and then she walks closer to the window so she can sort of see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And it'd be rain that day, yeah, that'd be so cool. It'll be oh, yeah, it might be rain, but it might be worth it. Yeah, and yeah, I'm hoping it, it, to be like a, sort of like a night scene as well, so it'd be quite pretty awesome. Um, in like like the window, you see like a sort of like a lit room and everything, and then it's sort of if we can't get like you sort of personally walking, we'll do a first person view and sort of like walking towards the window. Yeah. Okay, and then um, because it's sort of meant to be a creepy sort of film, like um, I want three phone calls in it, like one just being meaningless, like another being like a sort of phone call to a mum. So that would be like Stephanie, then Lauren, then Hope. So it would be, and then Hope's the one that dies first, so because you kill her first. So uh, Stephanie's one is the one that's just a blocked phone number, so she's like, I don't really want to pick it up, it's blocked. Mm -hmm. It's like an unknown number, so she's like, nah, I don't want to answer it. Uh, Lauren's one is a phone call from her mum, so she just picks up and goes, oh, mum, leave me alone. And then Hope's one is the one where it calls actually death. 
So, Deepa, that's just walked in. Lovely, lovely Deepa. You die first. Okay. Right, and then, so mm. like those three phone calls go off, and then like after a while, they decide to sit and watch horror film. And it'd be like, I'm hoping, I really want Scream to be there because like in Scream there's a phone call and then at that phone call, after that one has been happening, Does anyone have Scream hopes. on DVD? There you go, could you bring the DVD? Um, and then like after that Pacific scene, I want sort of Deepest character's phone to go off and it'll be like the death call so that you're all sort of like sitting there going, do we answer it? I don't know. And then sort of like it'll be a first person view of like Deepa picking up her phone and then it'll sort of pan round to her putting the phone up against her ear and then you being behind her ready to sort of start stabbing and I sort of I had a picture of this the other day I sort of pitched this in my head the other day you stab her in the neck sort of like right stop, there stop 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 so oh, why am I do you know what the special effects are I have to do well I can't well, no you did you know there's yeah. a knife that you can actually get and it and goes yeah, back into itself it's a knife yeah so I should stab it goes into the handle. It looks very plastic. Yeah, it is very plastic. But you can make, make it look, look real. Yeah, we, can, we can make it look real. Yeah. My dad has a pocket knife, a real one. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> My dad has a sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking yes, love. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, she does have a sword. Right, okay. <laughs> right, okay, moving on. It's very rusty. And then, <laughs> after, like, uh, Oh my god, I've got a baseball bat, Deeper. just in case you want a baseball bat. Okay. After Deep has been killed, <laughs> you move over to the lights to sort of flick on the lights to sort of see who your next target is. And you see Lauren, which is Taylor's character. You go towards Lauren, you kill Lauren, <laughs> and then Stephanie, you have time to run. So you run into the... Run? You know what I mean, you have time to, you have time to escape for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Walk across. And yeah. Right, run. So as you sort of go towards the bathroom, you switch the lights off so she can't see you. Yeah. And you run in the bathroom and you hide. And like I was thinking like a little bit of a sort of psycho sort of thing where yeah. she sort of, you know, stabs you like that and like, you know, hand runs down something. Yeah. Something like that. Huh? That was my idea. What? The hand. Yeah, I know. I think it was a good idea, so I'm taking it. And my idea was a psycho, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, high five. And then at the end, we sort of like see Samantha smiling. And I'm going to add this one in because I just thought of it right now. And like we see some that tonight and it sort of pans over back to the, where the TV is and it sort of like have like a bit of a scream sort of like f bit of the footage that like after sort of like they kill like scream kills the person like that and so sort of that and then like have girls just want to have fun like in the background like really quietly yeah I can imagine like lots of scenes like intertwined in that like, film scream and your film mm -hmm. like similar one yeah that's where I sort of got most of my ideas from <laughs> yeah and yeah I think this is a sort of good sort of idea because it sort of combines sort of like two stories or like it sort of shows two stories like being different so like a really horrible one and like a really nice one being put together and sort of ending up in death mm. so it's like screaming mean girls put together and that yeah yeah right i'm done T